And welcome to CMST 1545 Communication Foundations. My name is Ms. Jackson, and I look forward to teaching you more about communication studies this semester. I wanted to take a moment to go over the website so that you could see what the site was all about, and I can give you some information. So I'm going to share my screen. This is the login page. Now, if you don't have an access code and haven't gotten into the site or purchased your textbook, you click this button, purchase now, and it will tell you what to do and you'll follow the directions. If you purchase your textbook in the bookstore, you can put in the access code and click now and go from there. If you have gotten into your account and you need to log in, you simply put your username and your password. which is what I'm doing now. Once you get to the site, you will click Youngstown State University. You won't have a drop down because I have many different sites available to me because I've taught, I'm the basic course communicator, basic course director, and I'm in charge in all the, of all the different sections. On the site, the first page you'll see is the course information page. On this page, you will not see this final survey, but you will see the spring syllabus. You can click here and download it, or I've sent it to you already, but it's there just in case. You will see the textbook. On the text site, when you click that, you can pick which chapter. Now notice it says section one is over chapters one through six, section two is over chapters seven through 12. You will be taking section exams so you need to have read these first six chapters to take the graded exam, but we'll talk a little more about that. So you click on the chapter that you want to read. It opens up and it gives you the main objectives of that chapter, an overview and some key terms. When you click next, you will get the entire chapter one given to you. So this is the entire chapter one. If you have a textbook, it looks exactly like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. On this chapter one, you will see a lectured PowerPoint. If you were in class, so if you were in class, you will see this PowerPoint and you will hear someone lecture. So the same thing goes on the online class. Watch there. And this lecture goes over chapter one. At the bottom of the page, you can click, did I get to the bottom? PowerPoint, it will download onto your computer and you can have the chapter one PowerPoint available to you. This is for every chapter. Every chapter has the actual chapter textbook. It has the lectured PowerPoint and it has the ability to download those PowerPoints. Your next link is your assignments link. This is where you went to do your syllabus and site search quiz. The wonderful thing about the syllabus and site quiz was to get you to click around and to look onto the site and to read the syllabus. Those are two of the mi uh, main important things that you'll need for this course. You'll need to look around the site and you need to know what's coming up and what assignments you have. So all your assignments are listed here. Most of you have done your introduction, some have not. So if you click the introduce yourself button, it will open up and it will give you my sample speech. You can see my sample introduction. Um, I'm not nutty, this was done in the summertime, so that's why I have a tank top on. Um, and it gives you all the information that you need for the introduction, how long it should be, what questions you need to do um, and to answer. And then if you scroll down, you'll see a rectangular box that says introduce yourself. So you click this button and ignore, I need to update my browser, but it will take you to go react and you click start assignment. You should never go to goreact.com. You will always get to the recording from GRL site. And that's how you get to your uh, recording and you record that. Every assignment has this big gray button at the bottom to take you to go react. So if I go back to my assignments, I will see on the informative speech, if you scroll down, 
there's a big button again, and that will take you to Go React. As you will see on these different um, assignment pages, it gives you some information of how to complete your assignment. But this is not all you're being given. You are also being, I will also email you specific directions for every assignment. I will also email you a lecture video that has me showing you and telling you everything you need for every assignment. So you don't just have to read and try to do it on your own. You should never do that. Also, I strongly suggest you not going ahead doing the assignment without specific, specific instructions. For example, it says on here that you must um, have slides, presentation slides. Well, I give you a specific number of slides that I'd like to see. I tell you how I would like those slides done. If you don't wait for my instructions, you won't know this information. So on this assignment link, again, every assignment is listed on the side for all your speeches in your introduction, informative, persuasive, and group. You will click and then you'll scroll down and you'll see a button to take you to go react. Also, you will see the exams link. The exam links takes you to your exams. You have three graded exams. You have section one, section two, and section three. Your pre-exams are not graded. Your pre-exams let me know what do you know about this information without reading the textbook, without me giving you the lectures, without you watching the lecture PowerPoints, what do you generally know about this topic? So I would like you to do all the pre-exams right now. It won't hurt, You're, it's not graded against you, and it lets me know what information you know. But I do not want you to take the graded exams until you read the chapters that are associated with those graded exams, because that does count towards your grade. Next, there is a facts section. You can look in the facts section and it will give you any information you want. Go React support. If you need some help on Go React, once you get there, you can't figure out what to do, you can come back and click Go React support. You can click recording a video. How do you do it? It tells you. How do you add attachments to a video? It tells you all this information. And if you need support for the GRL site, if you scroll all the way down, there's a button called web support where you can fill out a form and get the help that you need for the GRL site. But if all else fails, send me an email. Then last but not least, you have your grade book. If you click on this link, this grade book, there will be a grid. I'm gonna go real quickly to it and take it back off. The grid looks like that. I don't wanna keep it on because I don't wanna share other people's grades. But the grid show, shows you what your grade to date is. So when grades are put in, it'll say, everything was calculated last January 14th at 1.25 p.m. So your grade was updated at that point in time. With this grade book, you can see what your grades are at that point in the semester. <clears throat> can your grades change? Yes, because more grades will be added as you do more assignments. So your grade can go up or your grade can go down, but you always know what your grade is at any given time by going to the grade book. You can click on the menu up here. Um, you can print your textbook if you want to. Uh, there's a help button. You can change your password. You can see your account. You can go home or you can log out. So you can also search here for certain words or terms and it will pull, up, pull them up for you. And this is your course textbook. This is your course site. If you have any questions, any problems, any issues, please do not hesitate to reach out. Please do not hesitate to send me a uh, an email. I can jump on a WebEx video chat with you if need be, and I can help you with anything that you have. I look forward to watching your speeches and helping you to learn more so that you can become a competent communicator. Have a fabulous day.